Dave knows how. Welcome back to the channel. I've had over, I don't know, the last six months, a year, whatever, several people ask me about how I store my three-point post hole digger. And um, I just, I don't know, I just never had made a video about it, but I thought maybe I'd make one now since what I built actually failed. So this is what I fabricated up just to make this thing, uh, you know, be able to store this post hole digger. And it kind of hung by this chain right here. I put this back and brace on here to keep this thing from bending. But as you can tell, <laughs> I failed once again. <laughs> this piece, uh, this bracing piece that I put on here wasn't quite long enough to reach down there, and, and when I put it together, I was like, well, you know, oh, heck, it'll never bend right there, you know? Um, it didn't quite make it to the top either, but I was able to put this gusset in there, and that gave it some strength up there, but uh, down here on the bottom, yeah, I should have I should have put a little bit better gusseting down here if I'd extended this bottom piece out and brought this gusset up or whatever you want to call it leg uh it probably wouldn't have bent right there but it, you know hey it failed it's pretty it takes up a lot of uh floor space so it's not something that you'd want to have in your garage um but i mean i keep mine outside with the rest of my implements so Oh, uh, you know, it served its purpose for me. It bent this far. It hadn't bent any further. It's just a matter of time before it bends all the way over. So I figured I would take this opportunity to come up with a new idea. Now, I started looking around for ideas on YouTube and over the Internet. And I stopped at one of the channels that I have enjoyed watching over the years, and that's Tractor Mike. And I went over to Tractor Mike's channel and he has a video where he shows a stand for a three point post hole digger. And it's a nice looking stand. And I was, you know, pondering with the idea of building a stand exactly like the one that he shows in his video. And I'll put a link either in the description or at the end of this video so that you can go over and watch Tractor Mike's video on building that stand. And the, he doesn't really show building the stand, but he shows the stand. He gives you the measurements and everything that you need so you can kind of get the idea. It's a pretty simple uh, thing. If you've got some welding skills, you ought to be able to do it with no problem. Lately, I haven't felt much like welding. Um, I got a bunch of welding projects that I need to get on that I just haven't done and I just didn't need one more welding product. And I got to thinking about it and a lot of you guys out there don't weld, but you still need a way to store your three point post hole digger. So I come up with another way to store it. And for me, it was a fairly decent option. Um, it wasn't too terribly expensive. Uh, when I calculate my time to, to build something, uh, to hang it on, you know, yeah, it probably did cost me a little bit more than what that would consist of, but not a whole lot more. And for you guys out there that don't have a way to build something, this may be a viable option for you. I'm gonna move the camera over here and take a look at this new setup that I just put in place to hold this post hole digger. And I think you will find it a viable option. Let's get the camera moved. And here it is. Uh, pick this up at Harbor Freight. It's a Pittsburgh, which is the Harbor Freight brand uh, shop hoist. Yeah, some people call it a motor hoist. Shop hoist is how they have it listed on their website. You know, I had a 20% off coupon 
So I ended up picking this thing up for, uh, with tax and everything, $193. Um, you know, it's got a hydraulic cylinder here so we can crank this thing up. My post hole digger has a hoop on the top uh, that you can hook right to. It came that way from the factory. If you didn't have that, you could, you know, you could put a ratchet strap around here and tighten it up and hook it up on here. And, and I mean, basically, you know, you just crank this and it jacks it on up and, and, and holds it there. Uh, like I said, I just put this here. Um, it's, you know, just kind of free, free floating around. It is on metal casters. So if you were storing this in your garage with a concrete floor, or you had it out on a paved driveway, you probably could move this thing around, uh, which would make it, you know, somewhat portable. You wouldn't have to, you know, you could take it off and push it up in the corner of your garage or something like that. At some time in the future, I may uh, uh, build something to come over here to hold this, you know, this way and kind of lock it in place so you could ratchet strap it to it. You know, maybe, you know, four by four or, or some type of uh, apparatus coming up here that you could strap this to. So in the event that you did want to, you know, push this thing around on concrete, you could do that. In my situation, uh, what I'm thinking about doing is, is maybe rigging it up some kind of way where it's not, you know, loosely flopping around like this so that I can take the forks on the front of the tractor and come over here and pick the whole thing up and move it wherever I need it moved to. Um, and that's something that's, you know, I can do that anytime. I <laughs> anyway, I bought the two ton, which like I said was 193 with tax and everything. Um, you wouldn't necessarily have to have a two ton. They also sell it's either a one ton or a one and a half ton up there at Harbor Freight. And it's even cheaper. The regular price is like 179, I think. And you know, with a 20% off coupon, which they're very common to find 20% off coupons. You can find them anywhere on the internet. If you if you do a search for uh Valpac 20% off coupon, um those typically come in the mail, and a lot of times you'll find the Valpac coupons have a longer expiration date. In other words, they're not just for the weekend of the 4th of July or something like that. They actually last through August. You know, if you found one now, beginning of July, it would be good through the end of August, August 31st or whatever. So, um, you know, that's what you need to look for when you look for those Harbor Freight coupons. Personally, I think this is a great option for me. I think it would be a great option for you guys to store your three-point post hole diggers. You know, storage of these things has always kind of been a pain for everybody. I mean, I know a lot of people drill a hole in the ground and just leave it in the ground, but you know, ultimately you end up rusting out the bottom of this, you know, bit. Um, I mentioned tractor mics. Uh, the one that he has on his channel that he shows that was actually made by an individual that he knew, a friend of his. Um, to me, that one was kind of set up where you kind of had to build it to fit the size um, bit that you had on your post hole there. And that's one of the other reasons why I decided to go this way because at some point in time, I may, you know, get a smaller bit than this to put on here for making smaller holes. This is a 12 inch bit and you know, a 12 inch bit makes about a 14 inch hole and a 14 inch hole takes a lot of concrete. <laughs> so, you know, uh, a eight inch auger uh, would probably make about a nine or 10 inch hole and that would probably be you know, a decent hole for, you know, a four by four post or something like that, you know, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a fence guy, I don't know. This may be the perfect one for it. But um, 
I like to have options, and these bits, you know, they're not, they don't give them away, but a hundred bucks can buy, you know, another bit, you know, especially the small ones. I mean, I've got the, I think this is the biggest one that this one will handle. Anyhow, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Uh, gave you some good information. Um, I'll either put a link somewhere up here to uh, Tracker Mike's video on his little apparatus that they built to hold the three-point post hole digger. You can go check that out. Um, if you want to build one like the one that I had over there that failed, just do a better job than I did. And this may be a viable option for you. I mean, to me, I, I think this is going to work out really well. My biggest concern is that this is going to rust from being exposed to the element. But I think I'm going to put a coat of grease on it, throw a plastic bag over this thing, and let it eat. Again, thanks for watching. Appreciate all my subscribers. If you have a comment, leave them in the comment section below. If you have a post hole digger and you have a way to store your post hole digger, I would love to see it. Post a comment in the comment section below. Tell me how you store your post hole digger. If you can upload a video and show us how to how you store your post hole digger, post a link in the comment section below this video to that video. And for my new subscribers and my old subscribers and anybody that's watching this video, if you would like to visit some of those channels and see some of those options, look down in the comment section, check out the comments, and you will probably see some links to some videos about how they store their three-point post hole diggers. One of you guys out there may have a better idea than this. So check out that comment section, folks. Nice to see you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful summer. Take care and be blessed. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.